Hills vases dipped in liquid meth. A Davenport man in the country illegally is facing felony drug trafficking charges. Polk County undercover deputies say he imported the vases with meth hidden behind tiny glass pieces. Sheriff Grady Judd tells us he's never seen this method of drug smuggling before, and the guy accused of it could go to prison for a long time. Peter Bernard is on the night beat for us in Auburndale tonight. Hidden off a dirt road, this mobile home looked like the perfect place to cook meth. And the accused meth importer, he thought he found the perfect person to help him. Except that person ended up being an undercover sheriff deputy. Beautiful vases covered with pieces of red, white, and mirrored tiles. But under the shiny facade, something far less pretty. In Mexico, they were dipped in liquid methamphetamine. And then carefully they placed small glass squares on the vase to make it appear to be this beautiful pottery. Shipped from Mexico, Sheriff Judd tells us, Omar Palencia brought in 44 pounds of the raw drug. He was, Omar was looking for someone to convert it out of its current form into a sellable form, and that's where our undercover agents came in play. I didn't know what to think. Neighbor Retha Pear saw the deputies working at the empty mobile home. She saw a deputy nearby. Oh, I was standing on my back porch, and he was right here, and I asked him what was going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I seen him put the surveillance cameras up in the back, and I thought, oh, no. Wired for sound and pictures, cops say they captured Palencia going inside with duffel bags containing the pottery. He's in the country illegally, and he's supplying methamphetamine which ultimately will end up in the hands of kids and young adults. Cops tell me when they arrested Omar Palencia, he had two broken pieces of pottery with him with meth paste attached. He admitted to the cops he'd smoked meth that morning. He faces up to 22 years if convicted. In Auburndale, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.